Hey guys, it's me. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be another installment of my Crystal Rock Gem Mineral and Metal series. Um, today we're going to be talking about silver. I have been extremely backlogged the past two weeks, you guys, so that's why I have not been uploading these videos on their normal days as they go, but what can you do? What can you say? Um, at least I'm here now. So, um, anyway, silver is quite a serious metal here within the magical world, so it this video might take a while. So, take a seat, grab a meal, get a cup of coffee, because it might take a while. Um, so, without kind of pussyfooting around, let's just kind of talk about this quickly. Um, the energy of silver is receptive. Now, usually those receptive energies are really good for healing, especially self-healings, as well as money and success spells, as well as protection. Um, anything involving psychic workings is also considered a receptive energy. The planet is the moon and the element is water. Now, as we all know, water signs, I myself am a water sign, I'm a Kassarian. Um, we can tend to be pretty moody, we can tend to be overly emotional, over-exaggerate, blah, blah, blah. Um, and silver is definitely one of those metals within the magical world that, like I said earlier, can go either one of two ways. It depends on your intention and how you use it within your craft. Now, there are a lot of deities associated with this metal, specifically Isis, Diana, um, Luna, Selene, and all night and moon goddesses, just for obvious reasons, since the governing planet of silver is the moon. Um, now, the power flow is, as I said, very receptive in nature, involving travel, money, protection, peace, good dreams, um, anything involving psychic abilities, love, and invoking um, goddesses or spirits. Um, some magical uses, and like I said, this video may be long because the magical uses are literally front to back on my index card, which is what I'm looking down at, for those of you wondering. Um, first of all, you can use it to attract love. If you use a silver disc and a light pink candle, it is said that if you burn this every day for seven days that you will receive a love. Um, I, Like I said, I personally don't do love spells to intentionally attract two people together um, but if I personally think this is very harmless you, know, you don't really you're not looking for anybody specific you're just looking for somebody this is a good way to do that um, you can also do this to help stimulate your psychic awareness if you massage two pieces of tumbled um, silver upon your temples and your third eye especially your chakra right here this will definitely open everything up and you'll be more receptive to those psychic energies as well as um, those spirits and those deities that you're trying to invoke. This, you can use silver in calling spells and you can wear it as jewelry. And what I mean by calling spells is, as I just said previously, if you're calling a specific deity or a specific element, things of that nature, silver is one of those metals that is highly used for this, more so than any other that I personally have noticed or if I have personally used. And for jewelry, just simply because it's pretty and it will also help you internally heal yourself as with gold without really even knowing. Um, and you can also wear it for protection and success, obviously, since it is one of those metals that governs protection and silver. Over two-thirds of the world use silver as currency, so it will obviously help attract wealth and success to you. You can use a silver bowl for divination, since divination is considered part of a psychic ability or involving mysticism, if you will. Um, Silver will definitely help you achieve that simply because it is so sheen, it is so shiny that there is nothing that can really um, appear within a silver divination bowl that you are not already really seeing. Um, you can also wear to protect against accidents while traveling. Since travel is one of the power flows under silver, it is highly recommended you make a little travel sash. Just put a little piece of silver in it, um, get a silver ring, hang it up, just whatever you need to do. Even if you just need to keep a little piece of silver actually in the console of your car, it will also help promote safe travels as well as keeping you away from being accident prone. Um, where if you are feeling overly emotional, and like I said before, it is governed under a water sign, and us water signs tend to be pretty moody and emo. So it's if you do suffer from depression or elevated moods such as bipolar disorder, it is recommended that you do use this stone and that you do charge it. You meditate with it and it will kind of help you out with your emotional instabilities. 
And lastly, you can charge and empower silver and it will attract money and success. As we already have learned previously, it is used in two thirds of the world as currency. So if you do wear the stone or you add it to rituals involving prosperity and success and wealth, you will definitely see an increase in power flow and the ritual might work just a little bit better. So give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And as usual, comment below the links to how you can reach me on Facebook and Twitter and my Gmail will all be linked below in the down bar. Um, I highly recommend you checking out my playlist, my crystal rock, gem, mineral, and metal playlist here on my channel and see the other videos that we've already discussed. Um, if you have any requests or any comments, questions, concerns, 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 feel free to just comment here. Find me on Facebook, find me on Twitter. I'm everywhere. Um, but yeah, until then, I wish you all lots of light, love, and blessings, and I will see you later. Bye.